what action do you expect to be taken here? How do you expect this to play out? So, so if if um, if PASPA does get um, overhauled, I mean, so PASPA is the is is the um, 1992 Act that was put in place to um, make gambling on amateur sports illegal. If it gets overturned, what we will probably see is a state by state regulation and legislation of sports betting. Uh, what that will mean for the sports is that the sports will need to take proactive steps to make sure that the integrity of their games are protected, that there's transparency and that proper regulation is implemented uh, across the U.S. How has sports betting changed in the last several years, specifically with the rise of FanDuel and DraftKings? Yeah, I mean, I think sports betting has evolved over time. I mean, fundamentally, if you think of um, the sports providing the data for sports betting as, as, as being the, the, the fuel, the gasoline um, for the engine that is sports betting, really what we've seen over the last few years is a, is, is a big increase, an explosion in, in the amount of um, sports data available, which people can then use to place wages on um, in various different sports internationally. So, you know, when you talk about the leagues, what do you expect to happen there? Um, I think I think the leagues are going to um, start to embrace and to um, work with the regulators, work with the various um, stakeholders in the sports betting arena to make sure that when the, the legislation does pass, if indeed it does pass, um, that the, it's done in a way that means that the sports are fully protected, but the players and the games continue to have um, full integrity and to make sure that they are um, really positioned well for the um, for the players, for the fans, and for the owners of the sport across uh, across the states. The UK and the US do handle these issues differently. Explain uh, the difference. Sure. So, so I mean, United, the United Kingdom has been a, a long-standing uh, place where wagering is legal. I mean, even the Queen is well known to to, 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 to bet on uh, on horse racing once a year. And um, as of uh, because of that, the UK has got a has got almost the gold standard of um, sports betting legislation anywhere in the world. It's it's been doing it for a long time. The United States is different in that the the, um, the, the the sports betting has been outlawed for such a long time. And and really, what the opportunity that the United States has is to look at areas such as the United Kingdom where regulation has been well enforced um, and well, well constructed to make sure that any leg legislation that's put in place or any regulation that's done is done in a way that benefits all parties including the players, the sports and indeed um, all, part, all, 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 uh, all, all the fans in that sports ecosystem. What about the risks and the skeptics who say this is illegal for a reason? Um, yeah, I, I, th I think that, that you, you mentioned right at the beginning that the American Gaming Association said that um, they, they, they estimate $150 billion a year is wagered illegally. Um, I think the key point here is that, that, that by creating a proper, well-regulated, well-taxed uh, sports betting environment within the United States that's done hand in hand with all of the stakeholders and the you know, relevant government authorities. What you do is you create a much safer environment where there's transparency and that the, um, the sports betting is, is, as Adam Silver said in an op-ed that he published a few years ago, taken out of the shadows and into the sunlight. And I think that that alone will drive um, illegal sports wagering underground and make it a much safer place for um, players to operate and for fans to make sure that they continue to have the, the, uh, the, the, the belief and the, and the support of their sports worldwide. Do you think that that $150 billion, though, will increase if it's legalized? And what are the consequences of that? I mean, the $150 billion is, 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 is the estimate of what is bet by American citizens illegally. Um, and, I mean, if you compare that to what is legally bet in Nevada, around $4.5 billion, um, I think it gives a fairly clear idea of the size of the market and the opportunity. And the key, the key point here is by proper, transparent, well thought through regulation, you can capture that uh, th th those wages within a safe environment and make sure that those wages contribute to things like sports integrity, to um, transparency and making sure that the sports are continue to provide a secure and safe place for, um, for both them and their fans to operate in.